It is. I don't know what day it is. On all sides, from the point of Saginaw and Washington streets in beautiful downtown Durant, Michigan, First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a biblical devotion designed to fit seamlessly into your day and help you draw closer to Jesus Christ. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. It is Wednesday, June 26, 2024. Welcome to this episode of Cafe Devo. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. Hanging out as I always do with my pal Bugsy here in the pastor study at First Congregational Church, and I hope your Wednesday is going well. Hey, just before we begin with today's devotion, we've got a birthday wish we need to send out. We want to make sure we don't miss this one. One of the ladies of our congregation is celebrating her birthday today, and so we send out birthday wishes to Cheryl Davenport. Hey, Cheryl, it's your birthday. All of us here at First Congregational Church love you. We're so glad you're part of our church fellowship. We appreciate all you do among us, and all together we say, Happy Birthday! Once again today, we turn back to our old friend, Dr. Charles Swindoll, for our devotional thought. It's taken from his book, Good Morning, Lord, Can We Talk? The book is copyright 2018, Tyndale Momentum, A Firm Foundation. In the swirl of these turbulent times, I'm hearing echoes in my mind of David's question in Psalm 11. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? That's Psalm 11.3. And what a great question. Webster tells us that a foundation is the basis upon which something stands or is supported. Every house has a foundation. Every significant structure, every building has a foundation. The taller the building, the deeper and more substantial the foundation has to be. Destroy the building's foundation and it will fall. Funny, isn't it, how words repeat themselves on other lips? I was watching a national prayer service many years ago in which evangelist Billy Graham referred to the World Trade Center towers that terrorists destroyed on September 11, 2001. He stated that the Twin Towers may have been destroyed, but their foundations, amazingly, were still in place. He then spoke with great relief for our nation, saying it's possible to rebuild our foundation. In that faith, we have the strength to endure something as difficult and as horrendous as what we have experienced this week. Our spiritual lives are only as solid and sturdy as the foundation of faith upon which we build them. We can trust ourselves or lean fully on the faith of our parents or grandparents. We can even attempt to mix our spiritual foundation with some parts faith and other parts common sense and experience. But God assured us that there is only one sure foundation on which to build, Jesus Christ. The scripture says, now you Gentiles are no longer strangers and foreigners. You are citizens along with all of God's holy people. You are members of God's family. Together, we are his house built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. And the cornerstone is Jesus Christ. Those are Paul's words in Ephesians 2, 19 through 20. So what serves as the foundation of your life? Where do you find your spiritual footing? Make certain that you're building life on the most reliable and sure foundation, complete with a 100% eternal guarantee. Father, you are the cornerstone, as scripture says. You provide the foundation on which all of us rest. Help us, Lord, to realize that in our daily lives to walk as people who are on their way to heaven because we stand on you and we walk in you. Bless us, Father. Help us to represent you well. 
by treating others with kindness and compassion and sharing the gospel wherever you allow it. Bless us, O Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, that'll do it for us on this Wednesday episode of Cafe Devo. Hope your day is a great one, my friends. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, and I'm out of here for now. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.